convert the given problem into the standard form that is limit x tends to a of x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a what is the formula for this n a to the power of n minus 1 probability of a is equal to n of a divided by n of a if x plus i y is equal to a plus i b by a minus i b then x minus i y is equal to reciprocate it a minus i b divided by a plus i b Hello dear students, welcome to this session of first PUC Mathematics question paper revision class. I am Mr. Niranjan, lecturer in Mathematics, Department of Mathematics, Vidyashtam PU College, the Temple of Excellence. Today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding the second part, that is part B of the model question paper 23 and 24. In the previous class, we have discussed regarding the MCQ questions and the fill in the blanks. Today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding part B. So in part B, there are 11 questions. So you are going to answer 6 out of 11, each carries 2 marks. So 6 into 2 is equal to 12, 12 marks for part B. So answer any 6 questions, each question carries 2 marks. There are 11 questions in that you are going to answer for 6, 5 choice questions will be there. Now let us move on to the first problem, answer any 6 question. The first question, let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the set B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Find A minus B and B minus A. This is called the difference of two sets. Now, first one, A minus B. A minus B means all the elements which are in A but not in B. A minus B, the difference between A and B is all the elements which are in A but not in B. All the elements which are in A. So, in A we have 1. So, we do not have A, A, 1 in equation in B. 2 is there. Then 3 is not there and 4 is also there, 5 is not in B and uh, 6 is there. So, therefore, A minus B is equal to 1, 3, 5. All the elements which are in A but not in B. So, in A we have 1 but it is not in B, 3 is not in B, 5 is also not in B. So, this is the difference between A and B. Similarly, B minus A. B minus A means all the elements which are in B but not in A. So, in B we have 2, here it is 2. 4 is also there, 6 is also there except 8. So, B minus A is equal to 8. So, A minus B is 1, 3, 5 and B minus A is equal to 8. That is it. This is for 2 marks. So, 1, 1 marks each, you will get 2 marks. Okay. More to the next problem. List all the subsets of the set A comma B. The subsets. So, what is the set given here? The set A is equal to A comma B. Now, we have to list all the subsets subsets of A is equal to, so the first set A, then B, then the set A comma B and the null set. These are the subsets. So, A, B, A, B and null set. How many subsets are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you know the number of subsets is of the form 2 to the power of n, that is 2 to the power of n it is n is equal to 2, 2 into 2 is 4, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 subsets, right. Now, move on to the next problem, prove that this is from trigonometry, prove that 3 times sin pi by 6 into sin pi by 3 minus 4 times sin 5 pi by 6 into cos pi by 4 is equal to 1. Now, let us take LHS, LHS 3 times sin pi by 6, pi by 6 is nothing but 30 degree into secant, pi by 3 means 60 degrees minus 4 times sin. What is pi by 6? 5 pi by 6. 5 into pi by 6 is nothing but 30. 30 into 5 is 150. 150 degrees into cot of pi by 4 means 45 degrees. This is LHS. Now, you know this is equal to 3 into sin 30 is 1 by 2 and secant 60 degree. Now, what is secant 60? So, you know cos 60. Cos 60 is equal to cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, secant 60 is equal to 2. Secant 60 is 2 minus 4 into sine of 150. Sine 150 can be written as sine of 90 plus 60 using allied angles. So, sine 90 plus theta comes in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, sin is positive. A, S, T, say all students take off, all are positive, sin is positive, tan is 
positive and the cos is positive. So, in the second quadrant, sin is positive. Further, there is a co rule for this sin 90 plus theta is equal to cos theta, cos 60. What is cos 60? Cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, this is 4 into 1 by 2, sin 120 is 1 by 2, and cot 45, cot 45 is 1. So, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled, 3 into 1 minus 2 2 that gets cancelled, 2 into 1. So, 3 minus 2 that is equal to 1, which is a required RHS. So, what is RHS? 1. So, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, if you do this much, you will get 2 mass. Okay. Just substitute the standard values and get the answer. Now, move on to the next problem. Find the multiplicative inverse of 2 minus 3i. This is from complex number. Find the multiplicative inverse of 2 minus 3i. This is also an important problem. Let us represent the given complex number as z. Let z is equal to 2 minus 3i. The conjugate of this, the multiplicative inverse, multiplicative, multiplicative inverse of z is equal to 1 by z that is 1 over 2 minus 3i. Simplify this. So, 1 by 2 minus 3i rationalize this rationalizing the denominator multiply and divide by 2 plus 3i divided by 2 plus 3i. So, this is equal to multiply 2 into 1 2 into 1 is 2 2 plus 3i divided by 2 into 2 is 4 minus into plus it is minus 3 3 is a 9 i square since i square is equal to minus 1. So, this can be written as 2 plus 3 i divided by 4 i square is equal to minus 1. So, this is 2 plus 3 i divided by 4 plus 9. So, this is nothing but 2 plus 3 i divided by 9 plus 4 is 13. So, therefore, the multiplicative inverse is equal to 2 divided by 13 plus i into 3 divided by 13 is the multiplicative inverse. So, the multiplicative inverse of this is 2 by 13 plus 3 by 13 into i. This is the required answer. That is it. Very simple. Okay. Now, move on to the next problem. Again, this is also from complex numbers. If x plus i y is equal to a plus i b divided by a minus i b, prove that x square plus y square is equal to 1. This is also important and simple problem. What is given? x plus i y is equal to a plus i b divided by a minus i b. So, then x minus i y, its conjugate is the reciprocal a minus i b divided by a plus i b. So, if x plus i y is equal to a plus i b by a minus i b, then x minus i y is equal to reciprocated a minus i b divided by a plus i b. Now, multiply this, multiply from 1 and 2, multiplying this. Now, x plus i y into x minus i y is equal to what we will get x plus i y is a plus i b divided by a minus i b into a minus i b divided by a plus i b. Now, if you simplify this x into x is x square minus into plus minus i into i is i square minus y square. So, x square minus i square into y square is equal to just these two gets cancelled, these two gets cancelled. What is left is 1. So, since you know i square is equal to minus 1, x square into i square is equal to minus 1 into y square is equal to 1, minus into minus plus, x square plus y square is equal to 1. That is it. So, x square plus y square is equal to 1. Just take the conjugate of this, that is x minus i y is equal to a minus i b by 1 plus a plus i b, just multiply it, you will get the answer. That is it. Okay. Now, move on to the next problem. Solve the inequality 5x minus 3, which is less than 3x plus 1 and show the graph of the solution on the number line. So, we have to represent the solution on the number line. That is it. Very important problem also. So, what is given? 5x minus 3 is less than 3x plus 1. So, this can be written as 5x minus 3x is less than 1 minus 3 becomes plus 3. 5x minus 3x is 2x is less than 4 divided by 2. x is less than 4 by 2. x is less than 2. So, therefore, the solution set is x belongs to x is less than 2. 2 
and less than 2 means 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, etc. up to minus infinity we will get. So, the solution set x belongs to minus infinity to comma 2. Now, how to represent this on a number line? So, this is the number line. This is plus infinity and minus infinity. This is 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, minus 1, minus 2, right. So, here it is 2. From 2 to 2, 1, minus 0, minus 1, minus 2, etc. up to infinity. So, from this point to this point, this is the solution set, okay. So, x belongs to minus infinity comma 2 is the solution set. Z so, 2 to minus infinity, that is it. Now, Move on to the next problem. How many three digit even numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if the digits can be repeated? So, this is from probability, right? Now, how many digits are given? n is equal to number of digits. Number of digits. How many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digits are there. So, what is to form 3 digit even number? How many even numbers are there? Even numbers. Even numbers are 2, 4 and 6. There are 3 even numbers. Number of even numbers are 6. Now, we are going to form an 3 digit even number. This is unit 10 and 100. Unit place, 10 place and 100 place. Since what is the condition? Re repetition. So, if the digits can be repeated repeated that means repetition can be allowed. So, here there are 3 even numbers. So, to get to get 3 digit even number the last the unit place can be filled by 2, 4, 6 any one of these 3 even numbers. So, the unit place can be filled by either 2 or 4 or 6. So, the unit place must be an even number. 2, 4, 6. So, this can be done in how many ways? We can fill the unit place in 3 ways. So, unit place, unit place can be filled by 3 ways. And since the repetition is allowed, so how many digits are there? There are 6 digits. So, the remaining 2 places that is the 10th and 100th place can be filled by the remaining 6 letters, 6 numbers. Since the unit place is filled by the even numbers like 2, 4 and 6. So, this can be done in three ways and whereas the remaining places that is 10th place and the 100th place can be filled by the remaining all the 6 numbers because the repetition is allowed. So, therefore, this can be filled in 6 into 6 into 3. So, therefore, the number of ways, the number of 3 digits number, therefore, number of 3 digit, 3 digit even numbers even numbers is equal to 6 into 6 into 3 ways. So, we can do this 6 into 6 into 6. 6 6 are 36, 36 into 3, 36 into 3 is 108 ways. So, the number of uh, so therefore, the number of uh, 3 digit even numbers formed with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 108 ways we can form the number of even numbers, right. So, 3 digit even numbers. So, we will get 108 3 digit even numbers with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This also a very important problem. Hope you followed. Now, move on to the next problem. Expand 1 minus 2x to the power of 5 using binomial theorem. So, this is from binomial theorem. Now, just if you compare with x plus a to the power of n. So, what is the formula for x plus a to the power of n? x raised to n plus n c 1 x to the power of n minus 1 into a plus n c 2 x to the power of n minus 2 into a square plus etc. Now, here what is n? n is equal to 5 and uh, x is equal to 1, a is equal to minus 2x, x plus a to the power of n, x is 1, a is equal to minus 2x and n is equal to 5. Now, substitute here. So, therefore, 1 minus 
2x to the power of 5 can be written as x raised to n. x is nothing but 1 to the power of 5 plus 5c1. x is 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 into a is minus 2x plus after 5c1 it is 5c2. 1 to the power of 5 minus 2 into a square minus 2x whole square plus after 5c2 it is 5c3 1 to the power of 5 minus 3 into minus 2x whole cube plus 5c4 1 to the power of 5 minus 4 into minus 2x whole raised to 4 and the last term 5c5 1 to the power of 5 minus 5 into minus 2x whole raised to 5 ok. We know the values of uh, 5c1, 5c1 is 5 and 5c2 is equal to 10, 5c3 is also equal to 10, 5c4 is equal to 5 and 5c5 is equal to 1. Substitute here, so this becomes 1 to the power of 5 is 1 plus 5c1 is 5 into 1 to the power of any number is 1 into minus 2x plus 5c2 is 10 into 1 into minus 2x whole square is 4x square plus 5c3, 5c3 is again 10 into 1 to the power of any number is 1 into minus 2x whole cube is minus 8x cube plus 5c4, 5c4 is 5 into 1 to the power of any number is 1 into minus 2x, 8 to the 16 x power 4 and the last term 5c5 is 1 into 1 to the power of 0 is 1 into if you multiply this minus 16 to the 32 x to the power of 5. So, therefore, the final answer is 1 minus 2 x to the power of 5 is equal to 1. Uh, yes, minus into plus it is minus 5 to the 10 x plus 10 for the 40 x square minus into plus minus 10 into 8 is 80 x cube. Again, 16 fiza, 16 fiza, 80 x to the power of 4 and plus into minus minus 32 into 1 is 32 x to the power of 5. This is the simplified answer. So, the expansion of uh, 1 minus 2 x to the power of 5 is this. So, how many terms are there? There should be 6 terms, 5 plus 1 is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, that is it, ok. Hope you followed. Move on to the next problem. Find the equation of the line intercepting the x axis at a distance of 3 units to the left of the origin with slope minus 2. Now, here what is to find? Find the equation of a line intercepting the x axis. Now, this is x axis, y axis, and the origin 0, 0. Right. What is given? Find the equation of a line intersecting the x axis at a distance of. So, this line will intersect the x axis at a distance. Distance is equal to 3. So, this is the line. Distance is equal to 3 units to the left of the origin. Left of the origin means this side. This is the line. That is all. This is the line. This will intersect the x axis at 3. So, therefore, this point is equal to this is the point. So, left of the x axis means minus, therefore, the point is minus 3 comma 0, x is minus 3, y is 0 and the slope, slope is given m is equal to minus 2, these are the given condition, that is it, ok. Now, what is the equation of the line? Therefore, the equation of line is, equation of line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 y minus this is x1 y1 y1 is 0 m is minus 2 into x minus of minus 3 simplify this y is equal to minus 2 into x minus into minus plus y is equal to minus 2x minus into plus it is minus 2 3 is a 6 bring this to the left hand side y plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 so therefore the equation of the line is 2x plus y plus 6 is equal to 0 is the equation of the line, that is it. So, the equation of the line is 2x plus y plus 6 is equal to 0, right. So, therefore, the equation of the line is, what is the equation? 2x plus y plus 6 is equal to 0 is the 
answer that's it hope you followed okay now move on to the next problem this is from limits evaluate limit x tends to 1 of x raised to 15 minus 1 divided by x to the power of 15 minus 1 usually we will get the highest power in the numerator and denominator in this type of problem now just convert this limit x tends to 1 of convert the given problem into the standard form that is limit x tends to a of x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a what is the formula for this n a to the power of n minus 1 so x to the power of 15 minus 1 can also be written as 1 to the power of 15 divided by x to the power of 10 minus 1 can also be written as 1 power 10. Now, if you observe carefully, this is of the form x raised to n minus a raised to n by x raised to m minus a raised to m. So, divide by x minus 1 both in numerator and denominator. So, this becomes limit x tends to 1 of x raised to 15 minus 1 to the power of 15 divided by x minus 1 whole divided by x power 10 minus 1 power 10 divided by x minus 1. Now, if you observe carefully, this is of the form x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a, denominator also x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a. In the numerator, n is 15, in the denominator, n is 10. So, n a to the power of n minus 1. 15 into 1 to the power of 15 minus 1, denominator 10 into 1 to the power of 10 minus 1, 15 into 1 to the power of 14 is 1, 10 into 1 to the power of 9 is 1, this is 15 by 10. So, if you want you can stop yourself here itself or if it is possible to divide, divide it. So, this can be divisible by 5, 5 3 is a 5 2 is a, the answer is 3 by 2. 15 by 10 or 3 by 2 that is it ok. Now, move on to the next problem. Now, again this is from probability. A die is thrown describe the following events. So, we have to write the events that is all. There are two events a number less than 4 and a number not less than 3 very simple problem. Suppose if a die is thrown what is the sample space we are going to get s is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 this is the sample space. Now, let us define first one a number less than a number number less than 4. So, let us define as a. So, a is equal to number less than 4 means 1, 2, 3 that is it less than 4 1, 2 and 3. So, there are 3 numbers. So, therefore, a number less than 4 is 1, 2 and 3. Second event, what is the second event? So, a number not less than a number not less than less than 3. Define this as B. Let us define an event B as a number not less than B. Not less than B. Not less than 3 means greater than 3. 4, 5 and 6. So, 4 is 5 and 6. So, 4 is not less than 3. 5 is not less than 3, 6 is also not less than. So, therefore, the sample space, the event, the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this, the two events are a number less than 4 is 1, 2, 3 and a number not less than 3 means 4, 5 and 6. Not less than means 4, 5 and 6. Hope you follow, right. Now, this is how we are going to solve this problem. Suppose, if they ask to find the probability, now, suppose if one find the probability of A, probability of A is equal to N of A divided by N of S. So, what is N of A? How many elements are there in A? 1, 2, 3. 3 divided by 6, that is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, probability of B, if you want to find the probability of B, N of B divided by N of S. What is N of B? N of B is also 3 divided by 6, that is also equal to 1 by 2. So, the suppose if you want to find, if they ask to find probability, P of A is 1 by 2, P of B is also equal to 1 by 2, that is N of B by N of S or N of A divided by N of S. This is how we are going to solve. But here, what is given? They have given only just write the samples, that is write an event, that is it. So, these are the two events associated with this sample space, right. So, these are few problems for two more. So, 
in this you are going to answer for any 6, 6 into 2 is 12 marks that is regarding part B is concerned. Hope you followed. So that is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with the part C in the next session. Do not miss the class, attend the class. Thank you, thank you very much.